this might be the most exciting episode in our lives in Thailand that we have had since we moved here. Yeah, this is what it looks like. <laughs> She's popping. She's really low. We are getting ready to go to the hospital to have baby number two. Welcome back to Living Life on Purpose. This might be the most exciting episode in our lives in Thailand that we have had since we moved here. And that's because we are getting ready to go to the hospital to have baby number two. Maybe. We're not super sure if we're going to be admitted tonight, but we are going to go to the hospital and see what's going on. So either way, this is definitely like the start of labor. And so we're just going to see what's going on. Might be today, tonight, tomorrow, or it might be later this week, but we're at least going to go get it checked out. Yeah, this is what it looks like. <laughs> She's popping. She's really low. It definitely hurts. I just don't know if it's gonna keep going, I guess is what I'm worried about. Okay, so we're not quite ready to go yet, but to distract, and by ourselves, I mean Abby. Abby, to distract herself from what's going on, we're ironically watching Love is Blind. <laughs> Okay, so we've made it to the hospital. This is our room, by the way. It's huge and it's awesome, but um, looks like it was false labor, so we're gonna go back home, but they said because it's the second baby and it looks like things are progressing, it might still be within the next few days, even though due date's still about a week and a half away, so we'll see what happens. So we're definitely kind of disappointed that we are here and not at the hospital right now. We definitely wanted to get this baby out. But also, I was so hungry. Like, that is I'm so hungry too. the hungriest I have been in so long. So I'm kind of happy that we are out at McDonald's right now. Yeah. And it's like, is it 11? It's after 11. It's, yeah. Also, so, as soon as I started walking to McDonald's, the contraction started again. So anyways, I think we're still close to having this baby, but it's like, just not, right just not quite there. Also, what all did we get done? Like they monitored her contractions for, for like hours. a couple of hours. Heart you, rate, all that. Heart rate, yeah. And like you used that room for like the whole two hours. Yeah. Anyways, we paid 200 baht, which is like 570 for the whole thing. I don't know what the US is doing with charging as much as they do for healthcare, but like that was insane. I don't know why we only paid 200 baht for that, but like- It was like, after our insurance, right? Yeah, 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 it's, it's after insurance, insurance, which means like total it would have been 2,000 baht. Even, even then, without insurance, that would have been 50 bucks. That's insane. All right, it's a week later. Abby's bouncing on her ball because we've been having contractions for the past, I don't know. Actually like, a long time. Yeah, a while, ever yeah. since we were at your doctor appointment today. So anyways, I think we're going back to the hospital again tonight and we'll see if baby Karis is oh, coming. Four centimeters dilated, by the way. Very dilated. Very dilated. We're going into the doctor. Yeah. Because Karis might be born. Maybe. We think so. No. You don't think so? Oh, okay. <laughs> well, she might be. So you're gonna go over with Miss Corneline to her house. Oh. And then you're gonna go to Hannah's house. Eat. Yeah, you can eat first. He's been very concerned about finishing his food. So we actually left a little bit early because like in Bangkok traffic, it can take like an hour to get across the city. And so that's what we had to do. We're at the hospital now and I'm trying to be kind of quiet because it's late at night. Well, not like super late, it's like eight o'clock. Um, but it took us like close to an hour to drive over here. Um, and that's something that I've kind of always been worried about with having a baby here in Bangkok is that it takes a long time to get anywhere. And especially for us, because we have to drive so far to the hospital that we wanted to go to. Another thing that was like really difficult was saying goodbye to Liam because I saw a post like literally earlier today, like when you go in to have your second baby, um, they were saying like, hold on to your first kid because, and like, feel their hands and their feet and how small they are because like when you go back to them they won't be little anymore um and that was just really sad saying goodbye to him because I was like that's so true because next time we see him like he's not gonna be our little boy anymore like he's gonna be this big kid because now we have this other baby look at her little face we had the baby and it was so good and really a good birth, actually. And she's doing fantastic. And she's already nursed. This is our baby. We're taking her home.
So I think the only thing that we kind of ran into simply because we're in Thailand was not a language barrier, but for some reason when she started going into labor was like unable to understand English with an accent at all. So I was there and able to like translate everything for her because I don't know, it was just like all of a sudden she could just couldn't understand anyone. It was kind of funny. Um, but anyways, yeah, Abby's doing good and the baby's doing good. So we're just gonna kind of like enjoy our day here in this like really awesome room here that we just get to hang out in and take care of our baby. So I absolutely loved the care. Like I didn't feel like once I had her, everyone forgot about me, <laughs> even though I was like still I'm still recovering, you know. Like they have taken such good care of me and been so good, and we have not had to change a diaper yet, at all. Like they have just completely taken care of her, and helped with nursing, helped with um, healing. I got to have like an infrared light, just therapy session like something you would pay for in the states like that was just a part of how they take care of us here it's been so nice okay so we're getting ready to leave and they just dropped off like th so, much stuff. so much stuff okay so we got this basket first of all and they took this picture like right as soon as Karis was born. And it's got like clothes and stuffed animals. Anyway, so we were really happy to get that. I absolutely love this because I remember with Liam being super overwhelmed, but they have all of like the antibi not antibiotic, oh, first aid stuff that like you need to take care of your new little person. And they've got it in this cool bag, box thingy. And I remember we had to go out and buy all of that for Liam or had your mom go buy it or something. Anyway, it's just, it's all here. And this is all for her too, this whole thing this is something that I love about healthcare in Thailand is that we actually just took care of like all of our payments and everything for um, labor and delivery and our stay here and everything it's like totally taken care of so there's gonna be no surprise bills in the mail no like question of like where we actually in network where the doctors are in network or anything like that it's just like our insurance covered part of it and we paid for the rest of it and now it's paid it's done no surprise bills are ever coming in the mail and that's why I like I love healthcare in Thailand So we have made it back home, and actually it's been several days. It's actually been the entire week, because once we got home, it was all about taking care of Karis and taking care of Liam. We just went and got juice. He wants to tell you that. Good job. It's been a pretty hectic week, even though we haven't had anything going on. We've just been staying home and taking care of Karis, taking care of Liam, trying to get her to have some sort of regular sleep schedule. We figured out that the aircon makes her really, really cold. But so she has to be bundled up like a little, like, I don't know, someone who lives in the North Pole. An Eskimo. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we have to bundle her up at night, and she actually slept a lot better last night, but there's been a few nights where, like, there was very little sleep. No, we're not gonna watch Blue right now. We're about to leave the house. Way too big. 
<laughs> I thought that this was gonna fit. <laughs> no. I mean, there we go. We'll get a little picture. Look at you. Oh, yeah, but that's not gonna stay, <laughs> not gonna stay on. on. What do you think of Karis? <laughs> no. She, you like her? No. No, you don't like her. No. Yes, you do. Your no. nose? That's been a new thing. He's, no. My turn. Oh, my turn. I like her a lot. I think she's really cute. No. <laughs> what do you think, Daddy? Mommy. I like Karis. I think it's fun being a family of four. Do you not get enough attention anymore? No. No. Do you need more attention? No. Oh, okay. No more attention for Liam. Everything is just no this morning? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Also, the couch situation. That's usually blue. So yesterday both kids peed on the couch. Like, both of them peed on the couch at different times. So we just decided to take off the couch cover and wash it. It was a mess. The whole, like, five weeks before were absolutely horrible. But it was actually a really good birth, and I like having her here. And she came out. Here. Oh, you peed around here? <laughs> yes! Okay. Now we have two kids in Thailand, so follow along to see how that's gonna go.